Okay. Sorry, open Monday, September 25th, 2023. Right away, the market is down slightly. Like, um, yeah. Pretty much, uh, you can tell down at 0.35% of the Dow. SP 500 is down. 0 0.3, 0.3 on NASDAQ also, and it opened, kept on a little, and let's see what, what it want to do. Um, so, that's an article this morning. Uh, basically, it's about still along that worry, and the, so they're saying basically, products or retailers like Nike or companies that caters a lot of it to the younger crowd is going to have uh, some headwind going forward um, but who knows right? but it is rather interesting because um, yeah you're looking at average monthly payment of student loan since it's, it's, it's actually up there income, disposable income, right? it's all about disposable, disposable income right? you can use to buy all these extra retail product instead of buying a pair of Nike, buy a no brand name because if money is tight for you um, yeah. this is, uh, you, you, you can see a survey they did is how much percentage of students of Concerned about the upcoming student loan repayment, and you see fifty percent, six seventy percent of actually pretty much worry. Um, and Thirty one percent haven't started budgeting for that in actuality, so that would be pretty bad. Yeah, so looking okay, all these Urban Outfitter, Nike, right, taking a little small, tiny. Well, Urban Outfitter is down two percent in actuality, so Nike is only down slightly. They're just moving the market. Um, it's interesting because um, this is a rich risk, risk gauge um, of the dollar as a 500 and if this is risk is off people will buy take more risk or buy stock risk is on people will stay always stay toward bonds or search safer instrument and that yeah. <clears throat> so that was that this morning um, let's go right to the uh, chart um, Tesla, yeah, that from long became a short because of that. Um, yeah, that 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 worked out. Could have, could have. Yeah. Uh, oh, look at this alphabet, this tiny little hang hammer. Hmm. So it's groomy. Uh, wait for this just to complete. It, it might actually go, go down today. It's still too early in the morning to sort sorting out orders. Um, we for this bar to compete, compete for the day, so wait for the end of the day, at least wait till the last hour of the day and see where it's going to be. Uh, it might be a red bar inside, it's still too early to tell. Um, um, so it might come in, and, and if it even more seller push it lower, and then buyers come back in, that, that will be a good sign. Um, so, if a hammer fall, Forms. You wait till they, the market break the high of the hammer, then you enter the tray in that sense. Yeah. Otherwise, if you just go lower, 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 or drift lower, you, you don't want to enter the tray until it break um, top of the hammer, basically. If the hammer form first. But this is, even the hammer form, like this is a perfect example. This is a good hammer. And you when it break into here and you ride. You get these nice one, two, three, four, five day ride before it comes in and then you then you try to make a new high. So yeah. Be patient. Very important. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. <clears throat> so everything is 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 rounding off of the of the down. This is this is a triple top, right? This hat. And two soda. This is actually a triple top, and it comes in hard. Yeah. So this this is actually a downtrend. It even broke this level already. Oh, now it's gunning for the gap. Yeah. So 
for this level. It's going at this, this level. And one, yeah. <clears throat> Expect more down move actually on that guy. That's the weak one. And this is it's also a head and sort of pattern in that sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so, right now, of course, a little, a little bit more groomy. A little bit more groomy in that sense. Um, a lot of things that this guy turned and um, uh, this bar. Uh, typically, I want to see this and then I want to see buyer comes in. This momentum sell or it kind of uh, destroyed the setup. And then the next spot, definitely. Um, if it bounces, if I see a tail and then it close around here, that, that brief a sign into it. Um, but when it's a big buy and go below, um, you stop right at 21 days moving average. Next one open here and then continue onward. Uh, if this bar close back right back up, then the buyer is still, still a game, still possible setup, but that didn't happen. So, oh well, that's, that's, that's how it is sometimes. Yeah. Um, so that's how it is sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. AMD, what's going on with AMD? Uh -huh. See, take a quick look. Uh, ah, so I'm looking on my trading screen, and Lee decided to do this. Get down. He decided to do one of this. Get right to this 35 level. Wow, it's coming in hot too. So this, this might be, yes, my gun for my um the strike price before I do any bounces. So yeah, um, this guy is not doing too well right now. The, the set news comes in. Let's see because expand is holding up. What's going on with Lee? Yeah. So let's go take a look at the possible fundamentals on these. The news came out. Um, on. Expand is holding up well. Why is Lee doing a, a huge? Crap, I mean, it's a 10%, that's pretty substantial. Five, three, four dollars, yeah. Wow, the other ones are holding up. Well, Leo is, is take a dump too. So, something is going on, but is it stock specific? No, I don't see anything, huh? There's not much, no, not real news on that, and there's no earnings or anything yet. So, Let's look at, is it because the border, China market, FXI? Nope. So it is these two guys, Neo. Um, Neo did more gapping all the way down to eight buck now. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. So this, we'll have to see what's going on. So now this support become resistant and the next level is right around, you get through that. So it's right at this around here. Yeah, it's around this strike, 34 strike. Yeah, this is ugly, but that's the nature of that. Um, well, BYDDF, mm. all over the place, somehow, Something spooked these two stocks investors, especially for no reason. Something happened overnight, huh? Um, yeah. Let's look at CK Alpha. Let's see what happened. Uh, let's see anything. Anything of substantiate news? Mm. These 
12 on mental uh, Sunday. Wow. How are, you, are these positive articles and news on them? Not really much, you know? Yeah. yeah. That was old, that's September 1st. Your fate of the owner, yeah. That's kind of weird. Hmm. What is killing Lee? The question is, yeah, what is killing Lee? Yeah. Oh well. Well, sometime we'll find a new state of one for the day, but this 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 can be pretty ugly before we we'll come back off. Yeah. Um. Well, but. I have a chance to add, I mean, when it comes in. So, if there's, so, 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 the play became, wait for to see if any bias comes in, and then open another, add another leg of the position to it. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to see, um, it's still so early, wow. Yeah, but, I mean, if we look at this, the final point is actually 200, move, 200 days moving average. Like, uh, it was below the 50 days and then it collapsed. And now it's right in the middle of 50 days and 200 days moving average. So 200 day moving average is the long, I mean, the uh, support since mid-May on this breakout, this run. Um, and it's doing a neo thing. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, that's the nature of the trade, but I'm a chance to really load up later. So it's neo. I'm still looking for buy, reason to buy. It can continue to validate, right? Gap below 200 days, and then so it's getting for this area. Um, yeah, that was pretty short lived, though. This rally. This, yeah. But since I have fundamental fundamental long bias in it, you know, which is really 12, 18 months out at least, it's a long term hold. So gonna get it at half price, even not much cheaper. Uh, yeah, hey, these are great price to buy the CV, and so not a bad thing, not a bad thing. Okay. So let's go back. Right. The market right now, right now is pretty flat. Yeah, nothing much going on. It's pretty flattening out. Right. It sucks. It's coming down. Um, yeah, it's testing at this level. Yeah. The longer it stays at this level, the more depressed it is actually, it's more gloomy. Would like to see it to trade back up above this line. That, that would be good. Above the 50 day would be great. When it's still over to 200 days, that was back at the beginning of the year, so it's still up there. Basically, yeah, it went up into this level and it went up to the next level. Now it's coming back down from the level to a second level. level. So I would like to see it hover back on the low of the third level. Third level. That would be nice. Yeah. Um, yep, one, two, and three. That first up sideway, up sideway, up sideway. Yeah. You can borrow the market to help out. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's a little groomy overall. And, that, and unfortunately, I don't have any reversal in short on these. I mean, you see, I was saying that they are top bang. Uh, but didn't yeah the reverse of fast and sudden sometimes or, or the retracement so you have to be right there to really catch them yeah, otherwise you, know, you kind of missed out on these they they're faster more vicious so, as you can see on that now, this guy is holding up nice US dollar great it's breaking out again. Wow, how many times? Yeah, that's what happened with trend. So, to trade this is is actually trade a big girl, pull back, 
you also trade that you keep you add every level um on this if you on this run i mean 150 i think that's 150 150 so that's pretty hard stuff yeah um, it's not too far away from that that's just huge psychological number um on these i mean at one dollar US dollar to a dollar fifty yen. Wow, look at this. One fifty two is yeah, one fifty is huge number double top is is coming up. And that wasn't too long ago. Just a couple of years ago. Yeah. And yen would be really weak. And, and so that Yeah, I have and you will see if it pulls back to a certain level for some of these technical one forty five. Uh, I expect bias comes in and um, push it. but currency trading is very macroeconomic in that sense and when you're trying to really trade like these yeah. so we have one two three pretty much uh, um, um, yeah, possible actually look for a reversal play on this instead. Uh, but <clears throat> you really have to set your hot stop. So if I, my hot stop is, last time it's 152 or so, so you can set it 153, even, even wider, 154. Uh, and you're going for the long retracement or one to one in that sense. If you show that 150 or so, um, but wait, wait for the technical confirmation, wait for the signals. Um, so let's put that in. Look for reversal on this guy at this point. Yeah. Possible retracement, possible reversal somewhere around 150. That will be a play. Yeah. Um, other than that, so the um, things are just nothing much. Um, trying to find some good formations of a trending pattern they're holding up, and so far it looks like really Google's holding. Um, Okay, get in one one of these bar. Yeah. This nice long hammer, long handle hammer. Uh, in this long handle hammer that would be great. And that was rounding off <coughs> that. But now you, you know which way it's gonna go, but. I need one of these, yes, that will be the signal. Right. Yeah. Oh, Cisco, let's look at Cisco. Let's right. open a tray on that. Okay, it's holding up. So Cisco is holding up. Yeah. Uh, way, uh, way fast, right? But who you know what's considered way far. Uh, yeah. So that's Cisco. Cisco is the one that making a few uh, few cents. Um, Lee is crapping out, so that one's hurting. Expand can wait back in a little was a little bit up. Um, so overall, right right now, uh, this one's option portfolio is down a little, but it's too way too early to tell and. Ah, look at these, look at these. So the sellers definitely sell a lot of selling pressure. Long tail, long tail. <laughs> yep, it's definitely sort of a little bit bigger now because you have these so much selling pressure. Um, yeah, overall, the other guys just flattening out, not really moving or anything. Uh, just me here. Yeah, Neo, what is this? Okay, so this morning, nothing much exciting. Nothing much. No, no. Another setup. 
nothing really setting up for anything yet. Maybe if they will they will do some action and push it down, that that would be nice. See if it's I mean, the DAO is at right at 200 days moving average, so that would be interesting. Everything is right there. Um, and, well, Spider is a little bit far further away than what about NASDAQ? Right. NASDAQ is 200 is way, way away. So, yeah, NASDAQ is actually holding up now on this level. Let's push this a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that will be that. Uh -huh. This this could be something. Yeah. Could be something, but it just traded away from all the moving average and collapsed down. Sucks. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this morning, there's really nothing much going on. Like, but most of the indexes are still inside bar and not much news going on. Um, except, you know, except Lee is getting hammered. Um, and there's just not much news, the reason to it yet. So I'm trying to look for the specific fundamental news. Why is it doing that? Why is it? crapping out um, still above my strike price so but I just want to know fundamentally any reasons for that um, but didn't see anything um, um, yeah you can let's, let's search here let's search here why is down 10% these guys can get volatile but Alright, the new collaboration news. Okay, finally, some new stuff last early to present. It was the 20th. This is the 22nd. I need something on the 25th. Alright, today is the 25th. So... Hmm. Just nothing really specific to it yet. Oh, I am unable to find. Neil Rice Friday. That's Friday. All these things. Bounce back China report. Look to re energize the stock market. And, yeah, that's all news. Uh, sometimes I just don't know why. Stuff to do this stuff and volatility basically. Um, or somebody decided to unload their some institutional player or big investor decided to unload their holding. Okay. Um, yeah, so have to wait and see what is this going on. Yeah. So I have to see end of day what is doing is going to continue to crap out or just something that's just temporary depressed. But I, I doubt that's a temporary depressed. I really think something fundamental happened to it. This. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, sometimes I might do crap that all a few days and then bounce, or it's gonna just, oh, this is just fruit, and then it's close back up, what just goes sideways, right? Only three, three things you can do in general sideways, up or down, right? But that's big up, slow up, sideways. Big down, slow down. Right. All it really matters is towards the end of offering spire. Is it going to close below or around this area? Otherwise, there's still much room to do for it to um to bounce back and go back in, in money and then again again. At certain point, I might even close out this trade early just to go flat because of this. But it depends on all the pattern and or the market tells me i mean the stocks tells me what it really where one one is there more buyers or more sellers where you want to head basically yeah. okay so it's, it's a calm quiet day again except there's the market it's still too early to do anything 
nothing rolling out. Maybe later on something will happen. It's a lazy Monday morning. That's all. Okay, that's all for this morning. Thank you for watching. And if anything, I will upload more later on today. Otherwise, see everybody tomorrow.